All right, welcome to podcast number five. In this podcast and the next couple after this, we're going to go over each of the stages of mitosis. And in this uh, podcast, we're going to cover the first two, which is prophase and metaphase. All right, now, as you see here, just a reminder, the M phase, and remember M stands for mitotic, is divided up into two parts. There is mitosis, and then it's usually followed with cytokinesis. But if it's not, you're going to get a cell that has more than one cell. So what's right there? I'm sorry, it has more than one nucleus. So what's right in here? Mitosis without cytokinesis, so a CK for cytokinesis. That's going to result in what is called a multinucleated cell. Now this doesn't happen very often, say in the human body, but it does occur in your muscle cells. So this will be with two or more nuclei. And remember, as an example, would be like a muscle cell. Um, these cells are so long that they need to have more than one nucleus, so everything's pretty close. Now, mitosis is divided into four phases, and it's conveniently remembered as PMAP, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And in this podcast, we're going to go over the steps of prophase and metaphase. In prophase, four things happen. The first one is the chromatin will condense into a chromosome. So remember, chromatin is long and thin. Think of like a yarn that's unrolled, and then you coil it up into a chromosome. The nuclear envelope is going to break down. The thing is just in our way. We need to get it uh, out of the way so we can move our chromosomes around. The centrioles, they're going to move towards the poles. Now remember, we only have centrioles only in animal cells. In plants, you have what is called a... Uh, um, you know, a spindle making area. The mitotic spindle will then begin to form. All right, so let's draw on this picture because there is one mistake. And this picture was scanned out of last year's science book, and here's the mistake. This is not a centromere. Centromeres are right there in your uh, chromosome. This is actually a centriole. All right, now. If you go through our little list here, the chromatin condenses in the chromosomes. So these are these little X shapes. So remember that these guys are coiled up. So that's coiled chromatin. The nuclear envelope is breaking down. So you can see it's starting to break up right here. So NE for nuclear envelope. So that's going to break down. Your spindle is going to form. These are spindle fibers right here. And then as you can see, you see all these little arrays coming out of here? This is typically referred to as the aster. Uh, the aster comes from a word that means like star. So you can see it's kind of like a firework that you see in the 4th of July. All right? So those are the four things that happen during prophase. Now, prophase is the, actually the longest of the four phases because there's a lot of things that has to get done here. All right, so next we're going to move on to one of the relatively shortest ones. And this one's called metaphase. Now, the defining feature of metaphase is that the chromosomes line up on the equator. They line up in the middle of the cell. The nuclear envelope at this point is completely gone. It's completely out of our way. The centrioles are all the way at the poles. Remember, the poles just means opposite side. And then our spindle fiber is completely formed, and they are attached to the kinetic cores. So let's do a little bit of review of what some of this stuff is. All right, so we've got our replicated chromosome right here. All right, and then the the centromere is this area to the outside. I'm sorry, kinetic cores are to the outside. Centromeres to the inside. All right, so there's your kinetic core. Those little blue things right there. All right, so let's go up here again. Let's go back to our red. You got a line right here, and that would be the equator of the cell, or the middle line. Okay, these are your spindle fibers. These spindle fibers have attached to the kinetic core. So as you can see them, they're sticking out like right there. Your centrioles are clear at the poles. Remember, the poles means opposite side. And you'll notice there's no nuclear envelope in there. All right, it's completely gone. It's out of the way. All right, now I do want you to remind you that the defining feature of metaphase is that the chromosomes are in the middle of the cell. All right, this is also one of the relatively shortest ones. This is actually very easy to see when you look at um, mitotic cells during on the microscope. You can't miss it. They line up in a straight line just like you see here. All right, that will conclude this podcast.